Okay, there is actually one more episode before this mini season of, uh, well, this mini partial season of The Walking Dead Season 2 is complete. So I guess it's seven episodes, not six. But there will still be additional episodes, I think, sometime in February. So, as you know, the fallout from the last one was the, uh, the walkers in the barn. You actually find out from, from Maggie the reason why they have the walkers is because they really don't think that they're... You know, see, they, she, they still have names. So in her mind, in the mind of her, from the people who live on the farm, there's people who are sick. You know, it's not that they're entirely devoid of any sort of humanity, they're just sick people. And you wouldn't kill a sick person. So therefore, why would you kill the zombies? So why would you kill these people? Don't call them walkers, don't call them zombies. It, it's unaware if her mind has changed after they do a, a pharmacy run with her and Glenn. To get a combination of things. One, of course, is more after pills for Lori. Or prenatal vitamins. So she gets that you know, pretty juxtaposed choice of do you take the morning after pills or do you take the prenatal vitamins? They, they also do better versions being one of the, the things more towards the end where essentially she kind of takes both and then finally tells Rick that she's pregnant. Actually, I should say Rick finds the morning after pill boxes and then kind of confronts her with it. That's when she finally tells him about her and Shane from way back in the first season. You can tell Rick is undeniably shaken up and rattled by this point just how difficult things have gotten to try to keep the surface uh, existence going. They also some targeting practice. The, the, the best part still is someone's doing this and you get called out on it, which is good because you should get called out on that. It's, actually, it's a horrible way to shoot a gun. You know, your, your recoil's all off from that way as opposed from, you know, an actual hold that's straight. And then for the gun practice, Shane and Andrea decide to go out and try to hunt for Sophia, who they still haven't found yet. This leads, of course, to one of your actual large amounts of walkers in the small subdivision they're in, as well as people who apparently tried to make a stand and then, while being unsuccessful, decided to burn themselves to death. And then, of course, on the ride back, we get the second awkward sex scene where Shane and Andrea essentially have sex in the car on the way back. So you got you got more walkers. You know, they still haven't found uh, Sophia. And they got one more episode to go. So the things to deal with now are, are they going to find Sophia in the barn full of walkers? The, the pregnancy is in part going out so far from this this mini, mini, se mini season because she's finally come to pass. You know, enough people know about it and it seems that while they constantly struggle with the ideas of could you have a decent life given this sort of time, is there any hope? You know, there's some really powerful and difficult things to try to tackle while at the same time dealing essentially in a world overrun by zombies. Again, probably still one of the best series on TV. Like one more episode. Before it goes on hiatus, I think February.